Hello and welcome to Pazo de Ondeade. Today we're going to be making a traditional Spanish scabeche. And what we're going to be doing is we have some uh, baby horse mackerel. And this dish you can do it with large mackerel, medium size or small ones in this case. Um, we have bay leaves, garlic, smoked Spanish paprika, just regular Spanish paprika. We have some sherry vinegar with some apple cider vinegar extra virgin olive oil, bell peppers, salt, and a bit of water. So there are several parts to this dish, and the first one is what we call an ajada, which is basically a garlic and olive oil and bay leaf infused oil which is what we use to top the macro with. So we've got our oil. Garlic cloves. Bay leaf. Spanish paprika. And regular. So this looks like a lot of ingredients, obviously, I mean, in terms of volume, but I, I do a large batch. I will be providing you with the recipe to do it for like four or five people. Now for the ajada, which is your infused oil, we're gonna basically put it at a very low fire. You don't want this to fry. When you start seeing a few bubbles coming up, that's when you wanna turn off the fire. So you're gonna start you're gonna start it off on low heat. Because you don't want your paprika or your garlic to burn. Now the slower you do this, the better it is. So for the next part of your uh, escabeche. We have to do our pickling mix, which is our, our acid that we're gonna finish cooking the fish in. And we have black peppercorns. Again, bay leaves. We have our vinegar. and you want to add about one third of it water and season with some salt. And you can add a pinch of sugar if you like. And this you're also gonna cook down until it comes to about a boil. So it started slightly uh, bubbling and then what we wanna do is we wanna turn off your fire and just let it sit there for about half an hour, 45 minutes. But anyway, this is the last step in the making of the escabeche uh, in terms of setting it up so you don't need to worry about this. So turn off the fire and just let it rest. So our, our vinegar solution is starting to boil. You just wanted to leave it for about a minute once it starts to boil it, and then just shut it off. So we've taken the heads of our mackerels. It's not necessary, but it just makes for a nicer presentation. And then what you want to do is just lightly season them with a bit of salt. And just mix them in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just lightly dust them with some flour because once we get them all done, we're gonna flash fry them before we pickle them. It's very important for escabeche, a real escabeche needs to be fried first. So our infused oil has cooled down and then what we just wanna do is just skim 
any stuff that's on top just to keep it nice and clear you will always get a bit of foam I normally wouldn't put it in a glass, but I just I want you guys to see how, what it looks like. So, and when you're pouring this out, pour it very slowly because all the paprika has gone to the bottom and you don't want that. You just want the pure oil. And if you slightly pour it, I just want you to see this beautiful color that it gets. And that has all the flavor of the garlic, the bay leaves and it is just an absolutely delicious thing you can also use this just uh if you do a poached fish like a poached salmon drizzle a bit of this to finish it off it's absolutely delicious in galicia if you do a fish a la gallega it's just poached fish with some of this oil absolutely delicious so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to flash fry our fish so you're going to do it in small batches about 10 pieces at a time you don't want to fully cook it in uh when you're frying it because we're going to finish the cooking process with the vinegar so Just about 20 seconds should be good enough. It will be the time to cook the flour and open up a bit of the flesh. <coughs> then you just want to take them out. And... Now at this point they're still raw. Continue the process. So we've flash fried our, our mackerel and it's nice and tender, uh, but not fully cooked. And then what we're gonna do is, I'm using a clay pots here because I love cooking with them. Uh, if you don't have them, you can just use a regular pot. The important thing is that the vinegar covers and basically you wanna put one forward, one back. So they all fit in. You want to do two layers, not more, because you want them to be covered with vinegar. So I'll do two layers for each. So I've got my fire at a medium heat now. And we had our vinegar, water, salt, and bay leaf mixture. And what you want to do is you want to cover them. with your vinegar. And then we're just gonna simmer. Once it comes to a simmer, you wanna leave them there for about five minutes. As you can see, it started simmering now. And basically I've turned off the fire with this clay pots it, it continues to cook for another five, six minutes, and then we're just gonna let it rest until we're ready to put the oil in. So this is still a bit hot, but it's no longer boiling. And then what we're gonna do to finish it off is we're gonna add our oil and it should cover it all. And then this is gonna, at least you need to let it sit in your fridge for 24 hours. But if you keep this for a week, it's when it's gonna be the best. After about five, six days, it's gonna be absolutely delicious. So our escabeche has been in the fridge now for 24 hours and it's set and it's absolutely delicious. And basically the way you would serve this, you you know, if you're doing a tapa, you could do a, three of them. We have also some of our beautiful garlic that we did our oil in and for a bit of garnish or bay leaf and it's basically ready to eat and um, the flesh is it's just melted in the mouth you can just it just comes apart and basically you can eat it like this but on a piece of bread and it's absolutely amazing mm.
little tripe. 